I was born into fly fishing. I'd always see my dad leave for his filming trips, and I wanted to go with him. I thought he was out fishing the whole time. When I finally turned 11, he said I was old enough to come along. So, are you ready for this, Charlie? Yeah. Where are we? Uh, Seattle. And where are we headed? British Columbia. Are you tired? Sort of. Are you excited? Yeah. All right. Onward. I drove north with my dad from Bellingham, Washington, where we crossed the border into Canada. From there, we boarded a Cessna caravan float plane and we took off toward the Kimsquit Bay. Destination, Kimsquit Bay, British Columbia. We didn't know if the fish would be there, but we headed north into the Great Bear Rainforest in search of coho salmon. Big guy, welcome. You brought your homework? Straight out of school, straight to the bush. <laughs> My dad chose me, and I just hoped I could find and catch a fish for his camera. I was a little nervous, but I knew I could do it. Jeff, who is my dad's buddy and owner of Kimsquit Bay Lodge, kept saying we need rain. Rain? But I guess rain would get these fish moving upstream from salt to fresh water, where we wanted them to be. So, always trust your guide. We took the big boat to the Zodiac, where we hopped in and could get up through the small river channel, through the brush and into really good fishy water. I'm pointed at that ridge line straight upstream, then I want to trace the ridge line to the right. All the way around me to that ridge line back there. Okay, so it's so I set my anchor here, then it's right here. 90, 180, 270 of the rotation, and then I roll back to that. Right? From 1 to 11. Jump 
Good job. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so what, what should have I done Nothing. There? They, well, when they jump, try to, when they're, when they jump that close to you, try to bow. You don't want to be pulling back when they're jumping. Because what happened is, you're pulling from up here, the line's in the water, fish is in the water. He jumps out of the water, all of a sudden the line snaps off the water, snaps tight, and it pulls the hook through. So that okay. extra yank of yeah, yeah, pressure yeah. pulled it through his lip. So after my first hour ever with a spay rod, I decided to pick up the single hander because I noticed all these fish rolling by a big down tree in the water. Hey, I thought, if I get out on that log, I just might be able to hook into one of those coho. Day one, I was feeling pretty good. Not only did I catch a co on a fly rod, I did it bouncing on an old slippery log. If I keep this up, I could put on a clinic for these guys this week. Oh yeah, chrome zone. I was absolutely exhausted that last day. I thought my arm was gonna fall off. But would you believe it? On our way back in, I got to see orcas and a humpback whale bubble feeding 10 feet offshore. I'd say that for an 11 year old, I did A-OK -okay in this job. And I'm pretty sure that my dad knows that this is just the beginning with Travels with Charlie. <laughs>